Hi, everybody. I'm Hector Garcia, CPA, and I'm going to talk to you really quick about this really neat new feature that you see in QuickBooks Online, and they kind of release this silently. I haven't seen any articles about it, any, any videos about it. And eventually, on top of your categories uh, table or your items table, you're going to see on the top right these two little icons. You see an export icon and what that's really a, a paste icon. So it's kind of sort of a copy and paste component to this, which we're, we're going to get into the details. Now, this is working on bills. It's working on expenses and purchase orders in checks and vendor credit. So all these like vendor-related type of transactions. And essentially, the point of this thing is that you may have a bill or a check or a purchase order that already has some data in it. Like there's actually some data here on the screen. And you want to extract that data, maybe manipulate it in Excel, and then do something with it. So I'm going to just do a quick export by just clicking on the little export button. It's, it's created, it created an Excel file, which I'm just going to open. And then the Excel file um, shows up. So I'm actually going to bring this over to the right. And I will zoom this in. Let's go view and <clears throat> zoom. And then the you know, typical like QuickBooks releases a new feature. Is, it, it works 90%, right? So it's sort of partially broken. So it exported most of the data, but for some reason, some of the... Some of the item names didn't come in. Don't ask me. I don't know how, how these people think. But anyway, uh, the data is out there. Most of the data, 95% of the data is out there. And let's say, for example, I want to make a change across the board to um, some of the information here. For example, let's say that I put the wrong customer name on this. So, so instead of going in here and clicking on one and finding the right customer name kind of over and over, I'll just copy that customer name and paste it in the spreadsheet and just kind of click and drag that down. And then let's say I also pick the wrong class. You know, let's say the class was supposed to be, let's pick something else here, supposed to be remodel. Right? So I'm just gonna copy and paste that into um, the spreadsheet and just kind of bring that down. And let's also assume that like the descriptions are all wrong. Right? Descriptions are supposed to be something else completely. Let's say it's supposed to be for upstairs bathroom or something, okay? Uh, and then we'll copy and paste that down, right? And the, the same for changing the item name, changing the quantity, the rate, all that stuff. Then what you do is you take the same data that's on the spreadsheet. Um, so I'm just gonna like make these really, really small. That way it's like super easy to read as I do the copy paste. So I take all the data of, of this spreadsheet, just copy it, okay? And hit copy. And unfortunately it's gonna blank out some of my products and services, which kind of renders the feature sort of useless. But again, let, let's see if it skips the blanks and leaves whatever's in there or it replaces it with something blank. We'll see. So we'll keep, then we'll click on the little paste button. We'll click on that paste button. And what it does is it replaces the data that's on the spreadsheet. Again, it missed a couple of product and services. I knew that because I was missing from the spreadsheet. And it also missed a couple of classes. So not perfect. Again, typical QuickBooks. They'll release something half ass. Okay, that's just typical QuickBooks. But the idea is awesome. Like I, I'm actually completely blown away that um, that we have this. Like the ability to copy and paste, it's just amazing. Like I've been asking for this forever, and I have to use a third-party app to import the information. Uh, for the time being, if you're watching this video and you're like super excited, but then super bummed out because it's not working correctly, I kind of have good news. Uh, there's an app called Right Tool that actually does this, and it works. It does it correctly. It's not broken. Um, and um, I'm going to open this up real quick just to show you. And uh, we, this was released in Right Tool maybe like a year and a half ago. So in many ways, I sort of uh, claim that this was uh, highly, let's say, um, inspired by, by Right Tool. But we have a little button here that says Export CSV. I'll grab this spreadsheet right here. This is the spreadsheet that gets exported. Notice that everything exports correctly. We'll copy this information just to... Same thing, copy paste. And again, you can modify it. You know, maybe maybe you're not exporting and then importing. Maybe you already have a spreadsheet with a data that the vendor gave you already broken down. Maybe you have a PDF that you took it to ChatGPT and you told it to break it down for you and you don't want to transcribe things in there. Whatever the situation or the use case may be. So we're going to copy that. And then we're going to click on paste from Excel. And then we're going to get this little pop-up. This is the right tool uh, paste pop-up. And this... The, in the right tool version, it works on invoices and sales transactions too. Uh, the QuickBooks version is only on expense transactions, so kind of keep that in mind. So we paste that in there. It does a quick check, like everything green. That means everything is in there. 
if something is um, not spelled correctly, it doesn't match, it will be red. And if, it's, if something has multiple possible things, like for example, there's multiple items that could be that name, uh, you know, right tool gives you the ability to sort of pick that and choose that. Um, because yeah, not, not, not always your, your copy paste process is going to be perfect. Then we're going to click here says paste, uh, into QuickBooks and then just brings the data in there. I inserted a, a blank line there, but, but we can delete that or remove that if I wanted to. So same, same exact concept. Uh, it just works with right tool. Right tool is this right navigation panel that installs into your, um, into your browser and it adds a whole bunch of other functionality like for example <clears throat> let's say i had an issue where the class was the wrong class but i don't want to do this copy and pasting craziness i'll just change it to the right class and then click on this little button here it's called the copy down button click on that click on class click ok and boom all my classes get changed for example i got the wrong customer i'll put the right customer click on copy down <clears throat> click there and boom all of them get changed <clears throat> uh, same thing with descriptions let's say i want to do any like a find and replace i want to replace let's say the word light with dark or something like that. So I can click on this little find button and type the word uh, light and then replace it with dark. Click on replace all and boom, it makes those, <clears throat> those changes inside of the description. Let's say the quantities also are wrong. Let's say they're all supposed to be 16. Copy and bring that down. <clears throat> so it's not the same thing as copy and pasting uh, from a spreadsheet. But again, if, if the utility that you need really is uh, the ability to 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 copy everything down the line and you can use that copy down button but of course you have that copy and paste um, capability as well so anyway i'm actually really hoping that someone from intuit looks at this video and goes whoops yeah we messed something in the process and by the time you're watching this my words are obsolete and their their built-in copy and paste mechanism works great something else you might see is they might take it down right like so you might watch this video and go down and not see it because they notice there's something broken and they have to go back and fix it. I don't know. Um, but I'm really, really hoping that by the time you're watching this, it's not broken, right? But unfortunately, it's, it's kind of my challenge as a YouTuber is that I want to get really excited about new things that come out and I want to show you the new things. But if they're broken, I got to tell you they're broken. But then the problem is you watch, you know, you watch the video a month after I create the video, but then they fix it in between. So that's kind of like the weird world that I live in where you know i'm trying to be excited about something but if it's broken i kind of have to tell you the truth so anyway i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one